Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Today, I am so excited. Like, I cannot even describe to you how excited I am right now because I finally get to look what is inside. Oh, this huge Sephora bag. This is seriously the biggest Sephora bag I have ever seen in my entire life. And I'm not even kidding when I say that when I was walking um, home with this, I had to stop every like 50 meters and like, <sighs> take a breather. <laughs> it's so heavy, oh my God. Um, but yeah, this is what we're hauling today. So basically this massive bag is from a Sephora showcase that I went to the other day where they were showcasing um, to all us like Australian bloggers and bloggers and media people and stuff. Um, what all the new like Christmas collections are. So I'm so excited to be looking at this because I've had it for a week and a half and I haven't even peeked. It's been driving me absolutely up the wall but I haven't been able to film. So I literally haven't even looked in here. When I was at the showcase I did see I think most of the stuff that's going to be in here but I'm still going to get equally excited let's be honest. So because this is such a huge haul I'm just going to like get straight into it. But this is everything that's going to be available in the Australian Sephora's um, for the Christmas period, I think. And I think there's some like little extra bits in there as well. But for all you guys who aren't from Australia, I guarantee you this stuff is going to be available in your Sephora's as well. Because our Sephora is very, very new. So, very exciting. So, let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing that I see in here is a really gorgeous bag from It Cosmetics. Okay, so it's got like a little package filled with makeup inside. Um, I love It Cosmetics, I'm not gonna lie. They're, I think they're like an underrated brand. You guys know I love their eyebrow products, but seriously, I think a lot of their things are very underrated. Their brushes are to die for, oh my God. So I don't think this stuff is Christmas. I think this is just general stuff. We've got a Bye Bye Paws Pressed Airbrush Silk Anti-Aging Finishing Powder. Um, I have an It Cosmetics brush. This one is the Heavenly Luxe Wand Ball Powder. This one is gorgeous. I really do like this one. When you feel It Cosmetics brushes, they're just so soft and beautiful. Honestly, I think they're some of my absolute favorite brushes ever. So I have a whole heap of their newest lipsticks. Ah, a whole heap of lipsticks. Um, they all seem to be like quite similar shades. Oh, that's good. It's like a real like autumn shade. Um, I have another brush. It's the Heavenly Luxe No Tug Dual Eyeshadow Brush. And then finally, I've got the Naturally Pretty Matte Volume 2 Romantics Luxe. And they literally have the cutest packaging. Like it's kind of almost too cute for me to handle. I don't know how I feel about it. It's like, I just want to touch it all day. <laughs> The shades are really matte basically and then you've got this transforming pearl shade down the bottom so every single shade here they're all quite pastel and pretty every single shade here if you put this transforming pearl on top it becomes like a shimmery shade instead of a matte which I think is so clever like I honestly think that is the coolest idea ever. Okay, so the next thing I have reached for is from Tarte and it's the High Performance Naturals. I think it's a, it's the Holidays collection and it's just like a brush set. So this has a concealer brush, an eyeshadow brush, a complexion brush and a fluffy blush brush. So it comes with this like really cute glittery, you can tell this is like Christmas collection because they're just all gifted up to the max. Open it up and you've got inside. Oh my god, these are beautiful. Oh my goodness. I don't know, they don't really feel like the most amazing brushes ever, but I instantly want to take pictures of these like everywhere, flat lay heaven. What would you do with this? I don't even know. Maybe highlight. So pretty, oh my god. So that is a really cute Christmas present idea. Next up we got Makeup Forever um, 4K situation. They're just like baby sample sizes, I think, in a little kit. So what have we got here? In this little kit we've got some Makeup Forever lashes. So we've got the Lash Show Natural Impact. We've got, oh my god, these are so cool. Oh, Lash Show Creative Impact. Oh my god, these are awesome. 
I don't know if you guys can see these, but they've got like purple in them. Oh, it's so awesome. The step one equalizer and also the artist Plexi Gloss Lip Lacquer. I have no idea what this is. Makeup Forever is one of my favorite um, foundation brands. Their HD is just, oh my God, one of my favorites. It's like the most long wearing foundation ever. Next up is by Kat Von D and it is the Mi Vida Loca. <laughs> It's got one full size limited edition lipstick and it has seven mini lipsticks. Oh, this is so cool. I don't know if you guys can see. There we go. So, this year's limited edition Christmas one is a red and it's called Gold Blooded. And how cute is the packaging? Oh my god, I'm so about that. Oh, so it's like an orangey red, but it has like little specks of glitter through it. I can feel a Christmas tutorial coming up with some of this stuff. I'm feeling it. Okay, this one is the one that I am the most excited about. It is the Marc Jacobs, exactly the same as before. It's like mini lipsticks. Marc Jacobs, the Sophia. Oh my God. <clears throat> Everything Marc Jacobs is so beautiful. Oh my God. Every time I go into Sephora, I'm like, give me all of the palettes, please. Okay, simple, elegant. Mark Jacobs bag, can't do no wrong. Open it up, oh, this is so good. They're so little, but so pretty. So you've got five Mark Jacobs lipsticks here. So this one is the shade Boy Gorgeous. Oh, they're so cute. How cute is that? Oh, it's so pretty. And then I've got myself a beauty blender, just a classic beauty blender. I bought one of these the other day, so I now have two. <laughs> Maybe I'll give this to a friend. Then I've got a Blotterazzi by Beauty Blender. I really wanted to try this, so I'm really excited about this. Washable and reusable alternative to blotting papers. So very keen for this, keep in your handbag and just blot away all the shine. Okay, so we've got Elizabeth and James um, Nirvana for her. So it's violet, sandalwood, and vanilla. So this is like a perfume. I'm gonna have a sniff. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, it's a body oil, not a perfume. Oh, it's nice. Oh my God, now it's in my nose. Good thing it's nice. And then another body oil from Elizabeth and James. So this one is Muguit, Peony, or Peonies, or Lopinis, and Musk. Oh, I have a feeling I'm gonna really like this one. Yeah, that one's nice. I just think their bottles are so beautiful. Okay, then I have two things from Estelle and Filed. Okay, it's a Swedish brand, and I've got Fresh Water Lily Body Lotion here, and Spring Rose Blonde Body Scrub. I'm gonna smell this. Ooh, it's like literally just like sugar. Oh, it's very like lemony. That's good though. That's like a good texture. Mm -hmm. So then I have the Marc Jacobs Precision Pen Eyeliner. Oh my goodness. Packaging again. Um, so just a classic pen eyeliner. Very simple, very black, very nice. And then I think there's a lot of liners in here from Kat Von D. So I've got the ink liner in the shade, it's like a brown shade, Hemingway. Then from Marc Jacobs again, I've got a high liner. So this is, I'm a bit confused, but we'll work it out. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a really, I don't know if you can see, it's like a purple, ooh, that's nice. Really purple sort of like eyeliner. Kind of like metallic. Then from Marc Jacobs, oh, I've got a full size lip cream. Oh, they're so pretty. Yay. And it is in the shade Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And then I've got a high shine lip lacquer by Marc Jacobs also in the shade Love Buzz. And this one's like very pink and quite shimmery. Okay, getting closer to the end now. So I've got a Givenchy um, Eclat Matisme. I have no idea if I said that right. <laughs> Fluid foundation. Ooh, foundation. I bet my color is wrong. The, ooh, this is like so, whoa. This is like a next level out of space situation. Hmm. 
we've got SPF 20. Wow, that's good. That is paler than even me on my palest days. That's really depressing. Then also from Givenchy, I've got the Wake Up Skin Makeup Base. So this is, I think, like a cleanser, not a cleanser, a primer. So it just looks like that. Excited to try that. Then I've got a couple of things from Edible Beauty. I have N3 Exotic Goddess Ageless Serum. And I have this N2 Citrus Rhapsody Radiance Tonic. But what I've heard from these guys is basically it's what it says, Edible Beauty. You can literally eat these products. They're so like good for you. They're just made out of such natural products that you could literally eat it and be fine. Which I think is awesome because chemicals, sure, they can like fix things every now and then. But are they really good for us in the long run? Like when you really think about it. So two more things from Edible Beauty. I've now got a coffee contouring cream. This is really confusing. Firming, smoothing, ultra nourishing. Oh, I thought it was literally gonna be like a, like a Frank scrub situation that you like scrub into your contour line. Um, and then I've got a Heal Me Soothing Bar, which that has got to be good. If that's got like edible good things in it and it's for healing, I am all about that. So, oh, crap. Oh my god. Oh, it smells like. It smells like one of those juices I did on the juice cleanse and oh, every time I see a juice now, I'm just like, no, stay away from me. Then from Zoeva, because in Australia, super exciting, Zoeva is coming to Sephora as well. So we finally have some like really good brushes that you can access from a store in Australia. And I know there are stores coming to a lot more places in Australia. So before you're all just like, if only I lived in Sydney, oh my God. They're coming for you. But yeah, inside this cute little bag, I've just got one brush and it's the Lux Face Focus. I really like this brush for like setting under eye powder and stuff. I love the way the brushes, so I'm very excited about that. Then I've got a June Jacobs Hydrating Mist. Um, I haven't had this before, but I'm always up for a good hydrating mist. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's pungent. I don't like that. Then from June Jacobs, I have a Mandarin Moisture Mask. All about masks, so excited to try that. Hopefully it smells a bit better than the last June Jacobs facial spray. <laughs> okay, then I've got some Ole Henriksen um, products. You guys know I love Ole Henriksen, seriously. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing him right. I never know if I'm pronouncing him right. But ever since I met him one time and I tried a lot of his products, I love them. So I've got the um, Empower Feather White, Feather, Feather Light Moisturizer, and then there's the Empower Foaming Milk Cleanser, and also Hydrating Hand Cream. So I'm a massive fan of Ole Henriksen, especially their serums. I love the serums. The um, Vitamin C one is just beautiful. It's so nice. Oh, okay. Now we've got some nude sticks. I think this is like a little Christmas situation. Um, I've got three nude sticks in here, and it just comes with three of these little nude sticks. So, very excited to try them. There's some really cool colors. Okay, finally, delving into the bottom to the really small bits and pieces. Um, I've got the Cover FX uh, um, Custom Infusion Drops. I'm really confused by this. I don't really understand this one. Um, I know that there's a lot of like hype slash um, some people love it, some people hate it of the cover, uh, cover FX products. Um, so I am keen to try this, but it's really confusing me because it's not like, it's just like a clear one. I don't know. Then we've got some more of the nude sticks. Um, these ones are the lip. Lip and Cheek Pencils by Nude Sticks. I've got a little star. This is also a Christmas um, situation by the Aromatherapy and Associates. It is the Revive Morning Bath and Shower Oil, which I think is such a cute little gift if you've got like a little secret Santa or something going on with your work colleagues. Then Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. This one is in, oh, it's purple. Mm. I'm so excited we have Kat Von D now. Like, oh. And a, is it Givenchy or Givenchy? I don't know, I'm gonna go with Givenchy. Um, whipped lipstick. Oh, those packaging. Oh, it's 
so pretty. Uh, it's, I've got three nail polishes by um, Formula X. They have some really, really cute like Christmas packages going on for Formula X at the moment. Like they come in the shape of like a wine bottle. So cool. I think they're the most awesome gift idea for Christmas. So go into like a Sephora store and check that out. Um, and I've got a Perfect 10 Liquid Gold. I think it's a body, face and hair illuminating perfecter. And finally, lucky last, I've got this little package here full of Studio 10 products. So Studio 10 are from the UK, I'm pretty sure, and they're very, very new to Australia. Like they literally just are arriving and about to be sold in Sephora's. Oh my God, this is the softest brush ever. So from Studio 10, I've got the Radiance Glow Bronzing Veil. And it's like this. I think this would be really good for people who have paler skin tones because this is like a bronzer. It's quite pale warm, which I think is perfect for like skin tones like mine. And then I've got a lip perfecting plumping gloss and a long wear liner. So that is everything I got from Studio 10. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. There is just so much stuff. I cannot even get my head around it. I'm going to have to like go through it all again and like work out what's going to be a gift and what I can't part with. I think a lot of that like Givenchy and Marc Jacobs and Kat Von D, they are mine. Oh my god, so excited. So thank you so, so much to Sephora for this like amazing gift bag. Seriously, I cannot even describe to you guys how thankful I am for every product that I ever receive from a brand because it helps me share with you guys and create content and just keep on putting out videos. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys all have a fabulous day and that you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys all next time with another video. So, goodbye. But I didn't want to share it with you all until I knew that I was definitely onto something right, something good. So I waited and waited and now I can officially say I am sitting here to tell you guys all about how I managed to clear my skin. Ha <laughs>